Scott, tis I, Alicia. How are you? I hope you're doing well. One of you lovelies, you sent in some interesting story, hadn't heard about it, about aliens in Peru. So I'm going to read you the little news story I clipped here. Um, villagers in Peru were initially frightened by reports of seven-foot flying aliens that were said to be eating faces and attacking locals. However, Peruvian law enforcement now suspect that these so-called fish eaters were actually members of an illegal gold mining syndicate made up of individuals from different parts of Central and South America. The villagers had originally described the attackers as silver-colored beings with large heads that were resistant to the villagers' weapons. So the incidents began July 11th, and reporting these vicious attacks by the seven-foot mysterious beings in dark-colored hoods. Um, then it said that they were attempting to kidnap a 15-year-old girl, causing her injuries. Another man was injured in the head by these beings, um, which were likened to armored appearance of the Green Goblin from Spider-Man. So authorities believe the seven-foot aliens are actually members of a gold trafficking syndicate um, associated with cartels. Uh, these groups have a history of violence and been causing turmoil in Latin America for years. They're now using the guise of alien attacks to spread fear among the local residents and keep them away from illegal gold mining operations. I don't know. Is it just people dressing up as goblins and aliens and whatnot? I don't know. I thought we'd look. So we're going to use the Desert Illuminations Tarot. See what we can find out. What's going on? Oh, my bear right. This is barite, in case you haven't seen barite like this. Um, this is something I always put in the back by my tailbone on my chair when I'm doing readings. I find it's a helpful addition in my crystal toolkit for readings. So let's see. What's going on? Are these aliens? Are these aliens in these Peru villages? Let's find out. All right, and again, it's all alleged for entertainment purposes only. It's a card reading, not fact. You know, it's just not. It's just my opinion, my psychic hits, and what I get. All right, so aliens in Peru. Somebody's satisfied. <laughs> There are aliens in Peru. Aha. This is, that's funny. Now, here's the funny thing. So, uh, King of Chaz, it's Chili's, I know, but sometimes I feel like saying that. And then you have two pentacles. Okay, here, it's the, um, we want you to think that it is these uh, cartels stealing the, coming in to get the minerals, the gold, the silver, the whatever. Um, so that's what we're telling you, but it's actually the aliens that are coming in. And I don't know if they're like, hey, do you guys want to go to the Gap and we'll get a hoodie to put on to disguise us and then we'll maybe like get people to think that we're just like wearing stilts or blocks or some shit and then they'll think that we're just cartels coming in here. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it's like, I'm going to go, I, like if I'm going to be a burglar and I'm going to make it so I dress up in the most fantastical costume ever, right? So I wouldn't necessarily put on my ski mask or bandanas or whatever bank robbers wear. I'm going to go and I'm going to put on a Dale Gribble costume. And then they're like, oh my gosh, it was this guy. He was smoking a cigarette and he had an orange cap on and he had a southern accent and he seemed kind of like he should be wearing a tinfoil hat. That's who it is. It's misdirection. It's misdirection here. So it's somehow, I don't know, we'll have to ask, are the aliens in contact with the officials over there? That's interesting. Okay, so they're happy, the aliens, they are aliens. They're happy that their disguise worked. My opinion, logically, not fact. Don't come after me if you're from Peru. Okay. This... They, the minerals are very valuable to them, and it's interesting, you know, Ten of Pentacles in any other deck would just not do it justice here, right? 
But this is like, beam it up, beam up those gold discs. We need a money. We need the minerals for whatever they're doing on whatever planet they're from. It's like, brrr, yep, we're going to take this shit. So they're doing it. But you like King of Wands here, King of Chaz. This is like a master storyteller. This is, I've, I'm creating this narrative for you. And if you want to think it's the cartels that are dressed up and they're somehow now seven foot tall instead of five or six foot tall. Okay. Not much of a stretch of an imagination. If I'm going full alien, I might put on an insect costume. I don't know. Just saying. So no, In my opinion, there's aliens over there doing shady stuff, but the authorities don't want to get anybody's, uh, you know, skin a crawling yet. All right. Let's check for sure, though. Do the officials, what do they think it is? What do the officials think this is? Do they actually believe that these are just human criminals? Or maybe they think it's aliens, too. Maybe they know. Maybe the aliens came into the police station and said, yo, this is what we're going to do, and you can't say shit. Maybe. So what are the officials... What do they think is actually behind the crimes? Aliens. They know they're coming from outer space. Like, they know too. They're just, they're not saying it. <laughs> they know that, like I said, I don't know if they're actually coming into the police station or the government offices or whatever. They are aware. It's almost this idea where there's some higher negotiation that has been going on that says, should you ever have an inquiry, like an alien comes into your government office asking to uh, take some minerals from your your locals, um, here you need to now um, put that up the chain of command, a higher level, and so we can discuss this and tell you what the proper response is. But you will let them mine. Yeah, they... They know, and they and this is that thing. You're like, I'm feeling you might be kind of like doing a double take right now, and you might be crapping your pants. We understand it, but we're the government. We're here to help. So you're going to let them do it. You're going to let them mine, 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 right? And um, here's the story you are going to put out to the people, to whoever needs to hear about. So the authorities, the officials in charge, they know. And they're being instructed by the higher powers to let it go on. Okay, so why are these uh, why are these aliens getting so pissy, so nasty? Like, why can't they just go do their stuff without getting all nasty? Nasty aliens. Dude. Do, 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 do. Oh, you nasty aliens. Oh, okay. So why are the aliens getting nasty with the locals trying to steal their gold and whatever else? That's not necessary, is it? Why are they so nasty? Janet Jackson and I want to know. Oh. Okay, so there's two things here. A, a deal had already been struck beforehand. So... We already had our deal in place. The aliens had a deal in place with the powers that be. Um, and so this was agreed to, and we're working on it. At the same time, we have, this was like elder leadership in the, we'll say in the alien camp, that worked with them to get the deal through. But you know, the boss man don't come down and do the work. He sends in his minions his minion miners, the page, the night, they're coming in. You know, sometimes there's uh, whoever's in charge of that work shift younger, not as experienced, not, um, not having a lot of finesse. It's, um, they're trying to smooth it over because this is like, there's some type of friction here where, between the two parties, the aliens and the powers that be, not the locals. Uh, the locals are kind of saying, like, bro, I know we're supposed to let you come in here, but at the same point, you got to tell your people, step back and stop, like, getting into fights or whatever and abusing our people. That's not a part of the deal. You need to be respectful. Do whatever you have to do, because otherwise we're going to be voting you 
off the island. Mm -hmm. So it's like there's this idea here that we're having some type of creative negotiations to how this is going to proceed in the future. Okay. Oh, you can't make too much noise when you're an alien mining minerals. Hello. You got to be doing that on the DL. Um, on the flip side, let's also check, are there uh, gold trafficking groups or called gold mafias that are using jetpacks to move in and out of areas to pull the same move that the aliens are? That's kind of fun. I can't wait to use a jetpack. What would I use a jetpack for? Where would I go? Oh, you know, like I'd fly to Starbucks instead of driving and I'd fly, but I would do like, you know, here in California, you can lane split if you're a motorcycle. I would do that. I would be in my little jet pack and I'd go lane splitting, but you know, like three feet off the ground, scare the shit out of people as I headed right to Starbucks. I'd still wait in line like the cars, but that'd be fun. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. They're not using jet packs. The humans that want to go get the gold. They're not using jetpacks. There's something wrong with it. Like it's not quite the right, quite, quite right technology uh, for them to do it. Um, it's not a quite perfected technology for their use. I don't know if it's like it comes through like they don't have enough power for if you're getting this metal and it's like heavy and I can't, brrr, I can't, it's too heavy. Like I need a crane. So it's like you have to get the right amount of balance and it doesn't make sense for the jetpack theory. Too heavy. There's something else they're doing. There's some other technique that they're doing, <laughs> which I think is probably just normal force. Um, or blackmail. One of the two. There's some something like that. So they're doing the the human ones or they have their own methods that they're doing. This card's interesting to me because now I'm wondering, are we going to have friction between the aliens and the uh, gold mafias, right? It's like, I'm going to steal this gold. No, I'm going to steal this gold. Hmm, let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's do uh, aliens versus the humans on thieving out the gold. How are they thinking about each other? Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so alien versus humans. Um, they both are feeling that they're rather strong in their perspective uh, corners of looting, I guess we'll say. Um, they're both feeling they have rights to it. Um, say the aliens are more like, well, we have the logistics and we can move more material than you can. And they're like, but this is our land and we should be free to loot from it. Okay. The aliens are looking at all sorts of other options. So they're not just going to take whatever they're taking now in terms of metals. There's other resources that they'd like to take. And um, over here, we're like, F that. The humans over here, gold mafia humans, are like, F that. You ain't from here. You can't have a right to steal. We're here first. Weird logic among thieves. But um, aliens are like, listen here, bitches. We got the tech. We can do this stuff. You guys are just like Mickey Mouse. You're not up to snuff on what we can do. We're going to win out because we've got the, we've got the power. I know that's not the lyric. Okay, king of swords over here. They're like, yeah, but we got the politicians and the lawyers who have already promised that we could steal as long as we kick back to them, allegedly. So there's that. Aliens are over here. I'm like, you want to go? You want to go? Let's go. Let's go. And they're like, oh, yeah, we want to go because we have a long-standing thing and we're going to bring in the politicians with us because they said we could. Even though that the gold mafia over here doesn't know that aliens like got okay from the higher higher-ups. So there's that. Uh, 
aliens are pretty satisfied with their position and the gold mafia humans are looking like, you know, I think we might be getting into um, talks to see about upping our manpower. We're going to start building some more alliances. So, yeah. You ever watch 90 Day Fiance? Doesn't that look like gibbery? Anyway. <sighs> so, yeah, it's it's kind of an interesting battle royale. And they're all just kind of getting greedy. Mm, I don't know. Interesting to watch. So, there we go. That's what's going on. Aliens in Peru. All right. So, if you haven't yet, join me in the Moon Moth Manor, AliciaWicker.com. Get access to videos like these ahead of time and ones I don't share here on the tube with you. And I'll see you next time. Adios.